over and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyrene and if you're new here, I like to make videos and I post every Friday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I actually haven't been posting and I'll get to that in another video. Yeah, I haven't been posting for about like two to three weeks, so yeah. But, and I just wanted to remind all of you guys that I am still doing a giveaway and I'm giving away a $25 gift card and what else am I giving away? Christmas products. I have also decided to give away a pop socket. So it has little palm trees on it. Anyways, by the title of t the video, you guys know that this is an eyeshadow collection slash declutter. This video is gonna be par part one of a series. I will be also sharing with you guys my face products, my lip products, my skincare products, and like perfume collections, and like basically collections in general. Like, Anyways, I am going to be sharing with you guys my eyeshadow collection from eyeshadow palettes, single shadows, cream shadows, liquid shadows, li eyeshadow pigments. There's a lot of palettes. I'll be showing you guys every single one of them, so if you guys have any other palette recommendations, make sure you guys comment down below. Let's get on with the video. If you guys don't know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be attending beauty school soon which I'm really excited for. So the next three palettes that I'm going to be showing to you guys is the brand that my school owns. So I'm going to my Beauty Mark Academy and their cosmetic line is called My Beauty Mark Cosmetics. So I got a glitter palette from them. So this is the glitter palette and it just has a beautiful range of glitter shadows. And I have not touched them yet. The next eyeshadow palette I'm sharing with you guys is called Not Your Av Average Mauves. And I really like the packaging. It's glittery and soft. <laughs> and then, oops. This is how they look like. It's just a bunch of mauve shades. I love it. And then the next palette that I'm sharing with you guys is called Bring the Heat. This is how it looks like. So those are from that brand. The next one, should I go brand by brand or? Okay, you know what, we're gonna go brand by brand, okay? So the next brand I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is Morphe. So first I have the Morphe 9A palette and it's just neutral shades. I haven't really dug into it, but yeah, I haven't dug into it yet. I'll get to it though. And then I have Morphe single shadows. So, so this is in the shade Bridesmaid. This is in the shade. Oh, oh. Tell me you guys saw that because that just disappeared. Like, let's play that in slow mo. Oh. See, I'm a magician. I almost dropped that girl. Oh my gosh, this is in the shade Celebration. And then this is in the shade Candy Blossom. Then this is in the shade Private agent and then this is in the shade glam life thank you next next i have the morphe 35om palette and i'm pretty sure you guys know how this palette looks like this is how it looks like i dig into this one a lot especially whenever i do other people's makeup and then the next few products are going to be from the jaclyn hill morphe collaboration so this is the the original jaclyn hill palette and uh, this is how it looks like i'm pretty sure everyone has this palette i love this palette okay i also use this palette whenever i do other people's makeup because it has so many colors yeah and then i have the uh, jaclyn hill morphe vault collection i know there's like a lot of controversy about these palettes but honestly it's fine so this is the armed and gorgeous palette from the vault collection and this one is the one that i have been using the most and then so we have the ring the alarm palette this one i only swatched i honestly want to be want to use this palette more and then we have the bling boss palette and then the dark magic palette and this one I have not touched once. Next up is Anastasia Beverly Hills. And guys, I love these palettes. 
you guys don't understand. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And you guys can't really tell on camera, but I really dug into this. Like there are craters in here. And then we have the Soft Glam Palette. I always try to clean the sides of my palettes, but they just end up getting dirty and then I just give up cleaning them. So yeah. And then we have the Norvina palette. And this was this palette was so nice. Like I don't care what you guys say, like that it it has fallout. That's why that's why you top the brush, okay? I'm sorry guys. I know my friends say that there's always fallout, but just tap the brush like a uh, hard this one's looking really rough i don't know why this one looks so rough like you guys see that right like <laughs> oh my gosh it looks like someone like scraped this or something so i'm just gonna be sharing with you guys a bunch of influencers palettes the first one i'm gonna be sharing with you guys is the laura lee party animal palette this one is my favorite i don't like this pink shade um one of the blue shades are really patchy next is the isla Sarai. Dose of Colors Collaboration palette. This one was such a good palette. I love it. But the thing is, I feel like there isn't enough mattes. All these shades were so nice, so pigmented, and I love it. And I, and I truly do love this palette. Next is the Kylie Cosmetics Halloween Collection palette. This is how it looks like. You guys would know how this looked like if you guys saw that I bought the entire Kylie Cosmetics Halloween collection. I have the Manny MUA Life to Jack Lunar Beauty palette. This is how it looks like. I just love this palette so much because of how versatile it is. Like you could create natural looks with it and you could at the same time you could go all out. Next I think I'm gonna be sharing with you guys pure Cosmetics. This is the Pure Cosmetics Soy Ray Diary. I don't know how to say that, but I got this from Amy for sure. Yeah, I bought this from her. And it's a bunch of neutrals, and I just really love this palette. I haven't really dug into all of the colors yet, but eventually I'll get to it. You guys know I'll eventually get to it. And then I have the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. This is not my favorite. These are the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows were fine. The face products were horrible. So yeah. And then the BoxyCharm Pure Cosmetics whoops, Palette. I think I got this one from Amy as well. And... Yeah, this is how they look like. And then I have the Pure Creator palette. This one it has a built-in mirror in it, so like you could stand it up like that. Like that, see? Okay, and then these are all the eyeshadows. And this one is from, I forgot where this is from. Oh yeah, so this is from Suva, Be Suva Beauty, and this is in the shade Fairy Dust. And the rest is from Pure Cosmetics, and these to our base products. Next up we have a ColourPop palette. So this is the double entendre palette. And I love these shades. This was a palette that I truly loved for a long time. And then we also have the I Think I Love You palette. And this is how they look like. And then I got this as a gift, and this is the ColourPop All I See is Magic. These are the shades in the palette. Next, I think I'm gonna share with you guys like the palettes from BoxyCharm. So this is the Elmar Cosmetics Reina Del Crib Volume 1 palette. And then we have, whoops, the Crown Pro palette, and this how it looks like i have the pretty vulgar nightingale eyeshadow palette i played with this for a little bit and then this is the newest one this is the ace beauty grandiose palette this this palette is really pretty i can't wait to try that this one out so yeah that's the palettes from boxy time and then i'm gonna share with you guys two urban decay palettes so this is the naked two basics palette i really like this especially for traveling and then i have the naked heat 
palette. Got this from Jessica. And then I have three beauty glazed palettes. So these two are from Jessica. There's one of them. Oh, those, those two are pressed glitter palettes. And then this palette is called the Beauty Glaze Trilicia Textured Shadows Palette. And that's how it looks like. I love like how there's so many colors on it. Now I'm going to share with you guys two Too Faced palettes. So this is the Too Faced Residential Berry Eyeshadow Palette. And this is like one of my favorite shadow palettes that came out this year. And then we have the Too Faced Natural Love palette, and this is how it looks like. I also like to use this on other people, so yeah. I have this BR, I don't know what brand this is, it looks like they're imitating Morphe, but yeah. Uh, this is this palette is from the mystery box um, unboxing video. This is how it looks like. Then I have the Maybelline's Blushed Nudes palette. This was honestly one of my first first palettes. Next I have the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. This is such a beautiful pigmented palette. I love it. And then we have a black heart stripped eyeshadow. Haven't used this at all. I don't exactly plan on give on using it. So I forgot to mention that all the stuff that I will be decluttering, I'll be giving away. So I will be decluttering new items. So I will be putting this towards a future giveaway. And then I have a Pacifica Island Light palette. Honestly, like Pacifica is such a good brand. And then I have a Estee Lauder mini palette and then a nyx eyeshadow palette and this was from my birthday i believe last year and that's how it looks like and then we have the tarte make believe in yourself palette yeah you guys could see which one's my favorite shade it was this one next we have a makeup forever palette and this is how it looks like i also got this from Jessica. Time to move on to the single shadows. I'm gonna share with you guys the liquid shadows first. So this is the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow eyeshadow in the shade Diamond Dust. And then I also have another one in Diamond Dust because that one is running low. Oh, I should be showing you guys this. So this is the shade Diamond Dust. It's actually getting darker because I don't use concealer to cut my crease, so yeah. And then this one is in the shade Smoky Storm. We have the shade Kitten Karma. And then we have the shade Midnight, Molten Midnight. And then we have a Stila a Shimmer and Glow Liquid Shadow. And this is in the shade Pagal. Then more liquid shadows. We have the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Shadows. So these are from her Halloween collection and this, these are so pigmented, oh my gosh. So this is in the shade Hello Gorgeous. And I have not used this one yet. This is in the shade Witch and Famous and this is so cute. Next we have Pure Cosmetics Liquid Shadows and this, I got these from, where did I get this from? Beautycon. I think these are just samples. So this is in the shade Dreamer silver shade and then this one is in the shade Queenie Queenie <laughs> and it's a gold shade and then we have glitter I have the NYX glitter brilliance so this is in the shade bronze I haven't opened this one up yet and then I also haven't opened up this one yet and this one is in the shade beauty beam I use this one for the 4th of July makeup look and this is in the shade red. This is the City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow. And then I have two Bare Mineral Pigments and this is in the shade Chic Nude and this one is in the shade Smoky Sage. So Chic Nude is like a sort of metallic -y pigment. This is unopened and I'm gonna give it away because I don't use pigments a lot. Um, and this one's unopened as well, so I'm going to give this one away as well. And then we have a Meech and Mia Copper Shadow. This is unopened as well. Okay. 
I'm giving this away. Then this is a Nega Cosmetics pigment, and I don't want to touch it too much because everything's gonna fall out. And then we have three Elf Duo pots. I don't know what they're called. This is what the first one looks like. These came in. This came in a gift set for Christmas last year. So as you guys could tell, I don't believe in expired makeup until they smell or something or look like they're rotting then i'll throw it away this is how another one looks like and i believe that the elf gift sets change every single year so you guys should, should check that out and this is the last one okay so now there's two ColourPop super shock shadows and this one is in the shade summer loving having a bad and then we have the shade and then we have the bomb cosmetics little sample travel shadow and it's just this brown shadow then we have an urban decay single shadow in the shade midnight cowboy so this is the steve laurent eyeshadow in the shade c green look how pretty this is and then we have a nomond eyeshadow so this one is in the shade nor skin and then i have this one it looks like this and this is in the shade cohiba and then we have a revlon single shadow in the shade copper there's a lot of copper shades and then we have this this isn't new i just put it back into the packaging but this is basically a three-in-one you could use it for your brows eyeshadow eyeliner if you want that's how the inside looks like i honestly feel like that this is similar to the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade but you could use for two other things and this is in the shade of chocolate so yeah anyways that is it for today's video and if you guys like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that little notification bell anyways i'll see you guys next time i actually won't see you guys you guys will see me so you guys will see me next time bye